Well, hello. <laughs> Welcome back. How are you? <sighs> I hope you're doing better than I've been. I'm going to be honest. I've been a little disgruntled lately. <laughs> oh, have I been disgruntled lately? Let me tell you why. <laughs> Over the past, like, week, I've had some frustrating experiences with my Timu orders, okay? Now, we know I love my Timu. I'm always talking about the return policy and the uh, price adjustments, all that stuff, um, the low cost of things. I love my Timu. But, you know, <laughs> even though their customer service is always there to help, sometimes things just do not go as planned, okay? <sighs> First, first, I had an order that was supposed to be shipped locally, okay? And I even, um, I may have posted about it. I'm not sure, actually, if I did. But it was supposed to be done locally. And actually, I found out that it would be shipping via Amazon. Remember that. It was coming from Amazon, okay? Trusted company that so many of us use or have used. I was a prime customer for, I don't even know, many, many, many years. Maybe a decade. How long has it even been around? Maybe as long as it's been around, I've been a prime member. Like, honestly, until Timu. And I've canceled my prime. However, that's not part of the story. The item was shipped from Amazon. It's been almost a month since I've ordered this item and for local delivery that's way unheard of it's usually like a week or two well i finally was like i was watching the tracking it had been shipped out but it was like sitting in the same place for about 11 days no no man no sir no i'm not having it i was so angry because i was really looking forward to these items okay they were a pot and pan set i was so excited to share it with you all it had like a removable uh, handle that you could put onto each one everything was so stackable easy to store and with our 16 year old getting really into cooking lately i wanted to buy this set for him to utilize some fresh pots and pans for his experimentation you know and then some other things that I went, I purchased to go along with it. But it was just the pots and pans that were coming from a local seller, Amazon. Okay. So I contacted Timu because I just tried to like say, forget it. You know, it's not coming. It's stuck. And I couldn't do the refund or nothing because they're like, well, if you haven't received the product, how can we refund you for a product you haven't received? Well, okay, fine. Fair enough. So I went to the customer service chat and I talked to them and awesome as they are, they agreed and they refunded my entire purchase and told me if they do show up, I can keep them. If not, they credited me back the amount of money, which was a good chunk of money. It was like $40 set. So I was pretty, pretty ticked off at that point because I really wanted the pots and pans, but I'm happy that I was able to get the money back. Now I was reading the reviews from that seller and I was not the only one to not receive my items. And a lot of people were saying that they couldn't even get a refund from the seller. I guess that's where they tried first. So if all else fails, go to customer service from Timu because they will have your back from what I have seen. So that happened <laughs> but i had to share that with you because it's amazon right we think that amazon will be here we look at amazon stuff as you know trustworthy because it's here i get my timu packages beat up or not i get my timu packages <laughs> 
right. But wait. Hmm. <laughs> there's more. <laughs> I had this amazing opportunity through the Timu Circle. I've noticed they're starting to give away more freebies. So definitely look into it if you haven't already. They had offered me six or seven. I think it was six items for free. If I spent $166 or over. Weird number. I'll take it. Six free items. Heck yes. So with this new space, I have like all these ideas for the decor, which stay tuned. I got some fun stuff coming up for y'all in the, the realm of redoing this room because y'all haven't seen anything. I've literally just been moving the crap up here. <laughs> I haven't started the process of decorating or anything yet. So this, um, this free item list came up with a couple things that I wanted for the room for the decor, um, to test some things out. Uh, I had purchased or picked for the, for one of the free items, this peel and stick wallpaper for the walls, because I wanted to see the roll. I wanted to see the quality. I wanted to see the color and I wanted to see how much exactly the roll covered in the room. So I was stoked to see it in the free section. So I picked the, the six items and then I went ahead and I placed my order that was, I don't know, close to the 166 threshold. It went over because I got my items. But anyway, <laughs> I was so excited. I get the bag. I get the delivery. Frickin' excited. Through the roof excited. The bag has two big, really big holes in it. And I'll show you. And I'm like, God, I hope nothing fell out. But luckily, you know, with Timu and all the holes, I don't think I've ever had anything lost out of the hole, at least, that I've ever come across. But anyway, they had, they had a, two big, two big holes. So I went ahead and checked the bag. I thought, well... I'll go through it and price everything and see that, you know, I don't know, that, that everything is there and priced for you and all that stuff. So I was going through the bag and also making sure nothing had fallen out. And then wait. Then I had realized that I came I, I didn't realize I came across this box. Look at this box. Okay. This was on the top of the bag. And that box is supposed to hold three tools, three tools. Now this is separate than the, the wallpaper issue, but, um, Yeah, this is separate than the wallpaper issue. I had to think for a minute because I believe they were separate orders. Um, they came separately. And we'll go back to that. I don't know why I switched over to this. But okay, because this one is the bag with the big holes in it. My brain is like fried. I'm so tired. Um, anyway, so the bag with the big holes had that box. And I was very excited for the box because I had a set of three wire wrapping tools, three wire wrapping tools, because I love to make jewelry and wire wrap. So I get in here and I'm like, oh my God, this box is worthless. Like the box is flattened and open. You can't shut it. It won't stay shut. And I see this tool and I'm like, oh, yay, my wire wrapping tool. Awesome. And you can see it. Very, very cool. Right. Very, very cool. But it was supposed to be three items. And it only came with the one. Um, I paid seven seventy eight. dollars It's sold out now. Um, it was six oh four dollars last time I checked it. But I dug through the bag. And the tools weren't in there. 
I was highly frustrated at this point because I had already talked to Timu's customer service in regards to the pots and pans probably like the day before. And then earlier the day that I was going through the bag with the holes, I had gotten another bag. There was two deliveries that day. And that bag did not have a hole, but it was supposed to have that wallpaper. And the wallpaper wasn't in the bag. Oh my gosh. How many things are going to go wrong in like a week's time with these deliveries? I was so upset. I was like, this is not happening. This is not happening. So I contacted Timu again and uh, discussed not only the tools, which they refunded me for the tools so I could repurchase them, but they're sold out now. So I have to wait. And then for the wallpaper, they don't usually credit, give you credit back if you don't receive a free item, which I threw a little bit of a tizzy. Now I didn't get mad or rude. I just explained to them that there was a threshold that I had to meet to get these free items. Now, if it was a free game item, I can understand. But because I had to meet a threshold, I felt it was only fair that I was reciprocated the amount that I lost for the free item that they did not promise me or that they promised me that I did not get. They agreed and they gave me five dollars back. <laughs> now, mind you, the wallpaper, they said, we cannot refund you for something you didn't pay for. They can't do it in the system. It was less than five dollars, like a four dollar roll. They gave me a $5 credit, so I added another one into my cart. We'll see if I get that. <laughs> but, like, what the heck, you know? So, at the end of the day, I know that Timu wants me to be happy with my purchases, and they've been generous with the refunds. I, ha I, I can admit that. They have always been really good about their refund policy in my case i haven't run into very many issues with that at all i'm a bit yeah yeah i'm a bit irritated about it all absolutely i'm a bit irritated because you order stuff you want it to get here and you want it to be everything you wanted it to be you know you don't want it destroyed you don't want the box destroyed you don't want the things missing in action but one of those things was shipped from Amazon, okay? And I was reading about all this stuff with Timu and, you know, they've got these issues happening and um, the numbers and stuff for them are not doing so hot right at this moment. And I hear that Amazon is trying to get in there and, you know, they're trying to get into all these things. And I just, I'm, I was already disgruntled with Amazon um, before before Timu even. I didn't like that I had to have Prime to get my stuff in a timely manner. And then even at that point, I wasn't even receiving my items in two days anymore anyway. But I was paying for the perk of getting things in two days. <laughs> but um, then they started hoarding in on my prescriptions. And I was told by my insurance company that we had to partner with Amazon for our prescription shipments and my prescription shipment through Amazon was exorbitantly expensive. Okay. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? And then when I was trying to utilize discounts and things, you know, that they give you codes that you can use like your doctor's office and stuff to give you credits and this, that, and the other, they didn't take those. The only discount card you could ever use through the Amazon pharmacy was the Amazon card, their discount card which I tried, <laughs> didn't save me any money. So I fought, I fought really hard with um, my insurance company and with Amazon and I do not use my um, prescription service through Amazon. Absolutely not. They have no business, okay? They started early on with books and it should have stayed that way. They're now doing everything. I mean, my gosh, they're selling houses that you can just fold up in your yard now. So they're in real estate too. They can't even get you your damn package, okay? Forget it. Anyway, enough rant. <laughs> enough. So, yeah, okay, Timu has its issues, right? But so do these other big companies that have been around a lot longer and probably shouldn't have these issues. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, Timu, or Amazon wants to get into, like, Timu pricing now. So they want to open a new shop, low shop, 
For what? For you not to send the items? <laughs> you know? Anyway, enough about all that drama. Let's get into what we came here for, and that's the Timu haul, because <sighs> I'm ready for it. I'm ready to dig into this. I have the prices here. Um, so if I look at my screen, I apologize. I literally just want to give you prices. It's late. I'm not sure that this video is even going to go up today. It's Wednesday. Um, my day just ran away with me and I'm so sorry. <laughs> so if it's not up on Wednesday, it'll be up the next day, I promise. But okay, so I already showed you this fabulous wrapping tool. Now, if you've never seen these before, I'm going to show you the bag. But since I already have this out, I took the plastic off. But see these little portions here? It's so you can wrap different like widths, type, smaller wrap, bigger wrap, bigger wrap still. I was so excited because the three tools that were supposed to come in, come with it, one was also like a straight tool, like a long one, almost like how the ring sizing cone thing looks. It was like that. So <laughs> get my hair off of me. I'm getting a little warm. All that fussing. Okay. These are the big holes. So you can imagine with the tools, like one being a straight one and then another one smaller still, they can fit right out. So with that box being ripped, those would have fallen right out. So <laughs> here's the bag. Okay. Let's get into it. I didn't even smile. Goes to tell you about my mood. 17 minutes in and we're just now starting the haul. Okay. All right. What's a Timu haul without Timu nails? These are so cute. I got a bunch of nails for Halloween. I already had a bunch of nails for Halloween. Let's be honest here. But these are adorable. Love them. I wish it was October already because I want to wear a new set every day, but that's not possible because that would hurt my flipping fingernails. Okay, those nails were $224 and they were $222 last time I checked, so not too shabby. Well, I wanted to tell you guys too, real quick. Look at my hair. Okay, it's a little, It's it's been a long day. It's been in my clip all day, but um, my hair's growing. My hair's, look at, look at these little, little hairs coming in. I've got all these like random little hairs that I can't get into my thing like I used to. They're just really short little baby hairs coming in. Look at that, you guys. It's thickening up. It's getting, if it's, it's like thicker. What? What is going on? I've been using that rice bar shampoo only with the mask once a week. I love it. My hair smells good too, by the way. <laughs> okay. I didn't want to tell you that. I didn't want to forget. So this was 161 and it is 214 now. I believe this is, what is this called? Like a uh, pasta, no. Silicone. Loading. I believe it's a silicone, like, what's it called? Oh my gosh, I'm brain dead. Uh, you know, when you're kneading your dough, it's like you put your dough in it. And then you can, it's like a gnomus kneading, so you can knead it with it in the silicone, I guess. I don't know. I thought it would be interesting to try. Okay, so that's, it finally loaded. Let's see. Isn't that interesting? They're beating it up. Yeah, so I'm excited to try it. I love to bake. I think it'll be really cool. It's 214 right now, as you saw. But that's really cool. It came fully wrapped up in that plastic. It was all nice and sealed too, but I had to open it for y'all. Okay. That's cool. I'm excited to try that. 
Oh, I think these are little, like, to go underneath my dress? Maybe not. I don't know. What? No, that's not that. What is this? <gasps> I did order some, like, spanky type things. This, I believe, is, um... I feel like crying. My brain is not working. What is this called? <laughs> I use these all the time. God bless it. Me? Bless it. Okay. Unbleached cheesecloth. It's two pieces. They're two forty eight. dollars um, It's a good size. You use it like with nut milks and things like that. I love to make nut milk. I haven't in a long time, but I also didn't have any cheesecloth for the straining. Though I don't strain it out as much for myself because I like the pulp. <laughs> but you can use it for other things too. So just some cheesecloth for the baking. We're getting into baking season, y'all. So I'm going to have some spooky treats. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so these, I think, are more extension hangers. Yeah. So this was a three-pack for $10.50, $10.49, really. And it's the kind that come with, if I don't drop them, oh my gosh. They come with these hangers here. So you can open it like that. The hair extensions go along here, like the top, the, you know, like the tape-in or clip-in wefts of hair, you know? And then you can hang them up in here. It, it clips onto the hair. I just need to get all my wigs organized. I mean, I don't even know how many hair, or how many wigs I have, but I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if I hit the number 100 when I was counting. So <laughs> that's pretty bad. But I have also hair extension things that need to be put away. Colorful ones and human hair ones and all the fun things. But this is where it goes. So then you just have the zipper, which is where? Where's the zipper? Oh, I was going to say, if there is a broken zipper and it's not on here, I'm going to cry. <laughs> if I have to contact Timu again. So you put the hanger with the hair in and you hang it up and then you zip it up and your hair stays nice in these little things i already have uh, like 15 or 20 of these but not this particular kind i have three of these but they're all used up <laughs> on the extensions so i needed some more and also on that note i needed more of the regular wig holders I want to get all my wigs organized and put away. And then I also want to see if there's any that maybe I could donate or, I don't know, give away and giveaways or something. I don't know. Because I've got just entirely too many. I don't think I'll ever be able to use them all. <laughs> but they come with these type of hangers right here. Let me put these in this bag so they don't get lost. And then it came with, I think there was 10. I should have counted the hangers. It probably would have been easier. But big old pile of them, you see. <laughs> Maybe not 10 because it was 10.50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Even better. And just like the extension ones, they zip. They have them in pink as well, I've seen. And they have them longer for longer wigs, but I just, I have one really long one, but I like them all the same size. It's a balance thing, but it goes in like that and the wig is hanging down and then you zip it up and you got your little wig all put away, not getting harmed, but yeah, so ten fifty for 12 so I can get some more wigs put away. And that's really helpful since I just got a bunch of new wigs and I just got another wig yes I did oh my glasses fell you guys that didn't help. everything's falling everything's falling 
I hope you can hear me. Um, someone had mentioned in the comments, which I'm a little behind on, and I'm so sorry. It has been a crazy week around here. But um, someone had mentioned in the comments that the sound was all, like, weird or, um, like, muffly. And I have been noticing that. So I was actually glad that someone mentioned it because I thought I was going crazy because nobody mentioned it. And I was trying to fix it in editing and I couldn't. Um, I'm not sure if it was the mic I was using. I tried using different mics. It still was doing it. I'm using a new mic now for this one. I really hope it's better. I really hope it's better. Please let me know. Especially the, the one who pointed it out in the comments initially. Is it better? Oh. Okay. Oh, this is another tool. Uh, looks like I paid maybe $4.85. It's sold out right now. And it's, I think, for jewelry making. Oh, cute. The little thing was off. Okay. Are these just covers? No. So it's just like, it's flat. So you can flatten the wire. So there's that. I thought that was handy. I didn't realize that these were plastic and they came off, but maybe that's a good thing. That's weird. It has like um, a little divot in there. So maybe they're supposed to come off and then it's supposed to look like that. I've never used one of these, so I'm not quite sure. But I'm going to leave the plastic on there for now because I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So if you've used one of those, you'll have to uh, let me know. Okay. Oh my goodness. 27 minutes in. Oh, empty. Okay. Mmm. Lucky we didn't lose this little stinker. This fell out of its bag. Oh, cute. Look at that. That's cute. Um, I don't even know what I paid for it. <laughs> it's not even written on the bag. Um, that's just for USB, and then it's got the different plugs. It's just an adapter. I'm not sure what the other ones are, but I have an Apple, so I got it because I have the Apple on there. Let me see. I paid $332 for it, and it is $325 right now. And it has the Type-C, iPhone, and Android, and then USB 3.0. That's what that is. <laughs> oh, we're almost done. Is there anything else? Wishful thinking? No. Okay. This is a heavy one. What is in here? Hopefully nothing breakable. I don't think so. Did I write a price on it? I did. I paid $19.59 and it was $25.98 last time I checked it, which I think was a few days ago. I wanted to record this video a few days ago, but I was highly aggravated. <laughs> okay, these are magnets and they are like magnet shelves. They're four of them, which is why it's so expensive. <laughs> but these are like for the side of your fridge for like spice racks or um, washer and dryer. You can put things in there. I got this because I have a mini fridge <laughs> in our master that I keep like my water in and some adult beverages sometimes, you know, whatever. But um, I also like to keep like condiments and things like that. And usually they're in a little, like a little bowl on top of the fridge. So I thought like these would be nice to empty off the top of the fridge. And the, look at how big the magnet is. 
So that's cool. Oh, that's strong. I've got a metal... Oof! I got a metal tray over here. <laughs> you heard it. That's that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm excited to use these. That one's Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's cool. So there's four of those. And I'm probably going to put a couple of them on my fridge when I go downstairs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We made it through. We made it through. Even with all the flipping drama. All right. Yep. That's it. We made it through missing items, smashed boxes, and all of it. So if you stuck around all of this way till the end, you deserve a medal or at least a virtual high five. All right. A little high five. <laughs> Give me a little high five emoji down in the comments below if you made it this far. So I know I wasn't high fiving myself in the face, you know. So despite all these shenanigans, we still scored some pretty cool stuff, I think. I like those um, refrigerator magnets. I absolutely love the organization stuff for my wigs. Um, the baking stuff. I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little mad about the tools, but, you know, what can you do? So what's your favorite thing? I mean, the nails are cute, too. Did you like the Halloween nails with the little floral ghosties? <laughs> anyway, I hope you had fun. I hope this video, at the very least, gave you a little bit of a good laugh. I don't know. Hopefully something was funny. My husband thinks it's really funny when I'm disgruntled. So maybe you're like him. I don't know. <laughs> well, if it didn't give you a laugh, I hope there was some helpful tips in there on how to go about getting a refund if you've been done wrong here in this scheme of Timu. But just remember, okay, patience is a virtue and so is keeping track of the refunds. Don't sit on it. Don't sit on it. If something has happened, talk to customer service. They're really, really helpful. But if you've enjoyed this video, you enjoyed this little holly haul, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps more than you know. Honestly, it gets me pushed out into the algorithm. It lets it lets YouTube know you're real. So if you watch it and you like it, give it a like. You can even dislike it if you really, really have to. If you don't like it, let me know. It's all it's all good, you know? And it's a free way to help this channel. And if you've already liked the video, subscribe if you're not already. Come a part of our little family and ding dong. We have a lot of fun here. We do a lot of giveaways. And actually, I just sent out like five or six boxes. So <laughs> I hope that I hope that the winners got them. I really am excited to hear about that. So um and then I guess the last thing, ring the bell so you don't miss any uh, uploads. I like to do shorts. I do silly shorts. I do fun shorts. I do um, lip syncing shorts because they're fun. Yeah. Sometimes I need to decompress and I like to do a lip syncing one. But I also post on the community feed where I put like my Timu game codes, updates, funny little quips that happen. You know, the thing. So hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Because I got some I got some good stuff coming. I do. I got some exciting stuff coming. Like the decor for the room. I, I'm just, I'm so excited. I can't even. I can't even. So anyway, drop a comment below if you've ever had any other experiences like this too. I'd like to know how Timu treated you if this happened to you. Um, were they good to you? Did they refund your money? Did, you know... Did you have a lot of issues? Let me know. And if you're feeling extra generous, share my video. Share it around. Let's let's get this moving so other people can <laughs> chime in on their Timu adventures. But anyway, oh, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I hope you're having a fantastic morning, <laughs> afternoon, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. Make it a good one. Make it a happy one and make it one where you get your rightful refund. Okay. Okay. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>